Today we're working on section 4.4. Here are our objectives for the day. Number one, use like bases to solve exponential equations. Number two, use logarithms to solve exponential equations. Number three, use the definition of a logarithm to solve logarithmic equations. Use the one-to-one -one property of logarithms to solve logarithmic equations. And solve applied problems involving exponential and logarithmic equations. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out by now, today we're solving equations. Yay! No, 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 calm down a little bit. Calm down, okay? So, first of all, let's use some like bases to solve exponential equations, okay? We'll start off really, really easy. How about that? 3 to the 4th power equals 3 to the x plus 1 power. That's really easy. Because if 3 to the 4th power equals 3 to the x plus 1 power, shouldn't 4 equal x plus 1? Do I care about the 3? No, not at this point. If I'm trying to solve for x and the bases are exactly the same, shouldn't the exponents also be exactly the same? So I just set them equal to each other and we just solve them. x equals 3. We should substitute it in just to make sure 3 to the 4th equals 3 to the 3 plus 1 which is 4. It's correct. Okay? So the problem comes, quote unquote problem comes, when the equation looks like this. 2 to the 3x minus 8 equals 16. Well, those bases are not the same, are they? Except, couldn't I make them the same? Couldn't I say 2 to the 3x minus 8 equals 2 to the 4th? Don't I know that 16 is 2 to the 4th? I'm not doing any fancy manipulation or thing. I'm just using my brain or my calculator, whichever one I need. Okay? But now the bases are the same, and now I have 3x minus 8 equals 4. And I just solve that really simple equation that we've been doing for a really long time, and I know that x should equal 4. But I would plug it in just to make sure. 12 minus 8 is 4, 2 to the 4th is 16. That's correct. Okay? So are they all that easy? No, but they're not necessarily hard. They're just different. 27 to the x plus 3 power equals 9 to the x minus 1 power. Well, those aren't the same bases. And I couldn't really, I can't really make 27 to be 9, can I? But what do I notice? Is there something I could make both of them? Um, can I make 9 raised to some power equal 27? No, I kind of want to go smaller if I can, not bigger. What about 3? Isn't 27 3 to the 3rd power? And isn't 9 3 to the 2nd power? Well, I still have the exponent that was there before, x plus 3 here, and x minus 1 here. So basically, I have to remember my exponent rules now. If I have a power being raised to a power, what's happening to those numbers? Mm, power to a power, we multiply, right? So I have 3 raised to the 3x plus 9. And then on this side, I have 3 raised to the 2x minus 2. Now it's the same thing as we talked about before. The base is the same, so I should have the exponents being the same as well. So we'll subtract 9, subtract 9, subtract 2x, subtract 2x. x equals negative 11. Well, is that right? People always freak out when we get negative answers or fraction answers or something like that. Can't I check it in my calculator? Okay, so remember, new document that is a calculator. Remember that we are allowed to say 27 raised to the negative 11 plus 3 power equals 9 raised to the negative 11 minus 1 power and hit enter. Look what it says when I hit enter. It says true. Well, what does that mean? That's the right answer. I don't care what it is. I don't have to care what 27 to the negative 8th power is. 
It's just good enough for me to know that these two are equal. The calculator told me that it was true. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay, so that's using like basis to solve exponential equations. Okay. Now we have equations like this. 4 to the x power equals 15. So it starts to look like the problems we just did, except, hmm, can I really make 15 be 4 to some power? Or 2 to a power? Because I can do 4 is 2 squared. I can't, can I? So then we have a quote unquote problem. We have to figure out a different way to do it. It's not a problem, it's just a different way. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take the log of both sides to solve this. Okay, so we're going to use logarithms to solve exponential equations. Now, we have a couple choices here. Okay, we could take log base 10 of both sides. Okay, if we do that, this x right here, what happens to the x right there? Comes down in front as a multiplier. So I would get x log of 4 equals log of t 15. And I would divide both sides by log of 4. So I would get x equals log of 15 over log of 4. So log of 15, no, wrong place, divided by log of 4. X equals 1.95345. That's what I could do. Okay? I could take the natural log of both sides. <clears throat> well, except this X would still come down as front in front as a multiplier, right? So I'd, I'd have X natural log of 4 equals natural log of 15. See, this seems familiar, doesn't it? x would equal the natural log of 15 divided by the natural log of 4. The natural log of 15 divided by the natural log of 4. Huh, 1.95435, except I wrote it down wrong, 3, 4, 5. Or I could be crafty, and I could take log base 4 of both sides. Well, do you remember the rule that we talked about yesterday when the bases are the same, what's the answer? The exponent, right? So in this case, it would be x. So that's 1. So I'd have x equal log base 4 of 15. Well, log base 4 of 15. Oh my gosh. 1.95345. We got three ways to do this, and every single way we're going to get the same answer. I, d I like to do this last way because it seems like there's a little bit fewer steps. Um, if I didn't have a calculator that could do any random base, I'd have to do it one of these two ways. But our calculator can do any random base like base 4. So I could do log base 4 of 15, bam. Okay. Um, <clears throat> whatever the base is, that's the base of log that I would choose um, to solve to solve it. And again, I would put it in, and I would say 4 raised to the 1.95345 power, knowing I'm not going to get exactly 15 because it's a rounded number, but I got 15.0001. That's 15, right? Everybody okay with that? But yeah, so when it's a something that you can't change the base of and it's in exponential form, just take the log of both sides to solve, okay? Which log you take is really up to you. Like I said, I like to do this one because it seems like there's a couple of fewer steps, but even then, not really. See what I'm saying? Okay. Um, <clears throat> 40 e raised to the point six x power minus 3 equals 237. So how would I go about solving this one? Adding 3 to both sides. 40 e to the point 6x equals 240. 
dividing both sides by 40, e to the point 6x power equals 6. Mm -hmm. What kind of log do I want to take this time? There's a really giant hint in this problem to, to know which log you should take. Natural. Why do you take natural log? And there, there's an e. Natural log, natural log. Well, what is the natural log of e? 1. So I'm just left with my exponent, right? Because that comes down as front as a multiplier. Point six x equals a natural log of 6. You heard, you, you heard me. Go back and watch the video if you need to hear, hear it again. Natural log of 6 divided by point 0.6. 2.98627. Again, take this and put it back into the original equation. And remember, you can put the original equation in. Although, I want you to be careful of this. Let me show you this real quick, okay? If I put in 4e, not that, 4e raised to the point 0.6 um, times, what did I get? 2.98627 minus 3 equals 40. What's it going to say? True or false? Yeah, it says false. So does that mean I got the answer wrong? No, it means it's, it, this is a rounded answer, and if I put a rounded answer in there, it's going to be wrong. Okay, so in this particular case, I would just put in up to there, knowing that it's going to be about 40, or excuse me, about 237. Maybe that's why. Let me go back and, and do it. I want to do it right. 237 it still says false for the same reason okay so I would go back here to this one and just put in that and know it's going to be about 237 because of the rounded answer Does that make sense so just be careful doing that be checking yes I want you to check but know what kind of situation is going on before you just randomly put stuff in your calculator okay you have to be smarter than the calculator what did I do Oh, you didn't know? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. So now you know. Is that good? So I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, all right. <clears throat> okay, so now, but now you know? Is that okay? 5 to the x minus 2 power equals 4 to the 2x plus 3 power. <clears throat> Now, this is a case, you know, earlier I told you I would take the log base of whatever the, the base was because that makes it shorter. I can't do that here because there's two different bases, okay? So I definitely either want to take na um, natural log or common log, probably base 10 or base E, only because the, those are easy buttons in the calculator to find, okay? It doesn't matter, though, but we still want to take the log of both sides. Which one do you want to do, natural log or regular log? Natural log? Okay, if we take natural log of both sides... What happens to that? What happens to the exponent? It's a multiplier. What happens to this? Also a multiplier. Okay? So I have x minus 2 times the natural log of 5 equals 2x plus 3 times the natural log of 4. Well, the natural log of 5 and the natural log of 4 are just numbers, right? So I end up actually multiplying, like distributing those things here and here. So I have x natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 5 equals natural log of 4, oops, 2x, sorry, I forgot that, 2x plus 3 natural log of 4. That's just a number, that's just a number. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Let's move this term right over here. Let's move this term onto that side, and let's move this term onto that side. So I get the, the, the numbers together and the exponents together. You okay with that? x natural log of 5 minus 2x natural log of 4. You okay with that? Um, equals 2 natural log of 5 plus 3 natural log of 4. So here I have an x, and here I have an x. Can I factor the x out of each term? 
If I factor an x out of this term, what am I left with? Natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 4. How do I solve for x? Uh huh. Both sides, right? You are. Because all that, all this is just numbers. There's no variables in there. It just looks messy because of all the natural logs. So, bam, straighten your calculator. Be careful though because um, in your homework, I don't know if it's going to ask for, give you, you know, give you three decimal places or if it's just going to say, give me the answer. Because this is a perfectly fine answer. This is an acceptable answer. But I don't know if it wants you to go to say 6.34. I don't know if it wants that. You know what I'm saying? So just read the directions, excuse me, negative 6.34. Um, read the directions to see what kind of answers that you get. Because this is a perfectly fine answer, but so is this. Depending on how many. Yeah, it'll say which one, how much to round to. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions? Can you use like basis to solve exponential equations? Can you use logarithms to solve exponential equations? Okay, so you also need to be able to use the definition of a logarithm to solve a logarithm equ equations. Now, that one's even easier than you think it might be, okay? Because first of all, we're solving e logarithmic equations now. There's a log already in the problem, okay? For example, log base 4 of x plus 3 equals 2. See how it has a log already in the problem? It's not an exponential equation anymore. It's a logarithmic equation. Well, the de what it means by definition of a logarithm, can we write this in exponential form? What is it in exponential form? The base is the base. The answer is the exponent. And it equals the argument. Is that an equation you know how to solve? 16 equals x plus 3, so 13 equals x, done. Thirteen plus three is sixteen. Log base four of sixteen equals two. Four squared equals sixteen. That's right. These are typically even easier than all these ones that we already did. Okay, because all you're doing is taking the logarithmic equation and rewriting it into exponential form and trying to solve it from there. Okay, three natural log of two x equals 12. How do I solve this one? I'm going to divide both sides by 3 first, right? Natural log of 2x equals 4. Now it's as simplified as I can possibly get it, so now I need to rewrite it in exponential form. The base is the base, the answer is the exponent, and it equals the argument. So I just have to divide by 2, and I just have to put e to the fourth in my calculator divided by 2. e to the fourth divided by two, 27.2991. Three natural log of two times 27.2991 should be about 12, and it is. Okay, so when it's in logarithmic logarithmic form, try to rewrite it in exponential form and see. See if it works. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Natural log of x plus 2 minus the natural log of 4x plus 3 equals the natural log of 1 over x. This problem has to do with the fact that we're using the one-to-one -one property of logarithms to solve logarithmic equations, okay? 
If we look at the left hand side of the equation, we would notice that these are some logarithmic properties, logarithmic rules that we learned the other day. I really only want one logarithm in this whole problem if I can help it, right? Maybe two, but if they're on opposite sides of the equation, but mostly one. So I want to condense this left side. Well, if I condense, if I'm subtracting, I get x plus 2 over 4x plus 3, right? Well, using one-to-one -one property says that if I have the natural log of this equals the natural log of this, shouldn't that equal that? Like without even taking the logarithm. So I should be able to say x plus 2 over 4x plus 3 equals 1 over x, and I should be able to solve that just by cross-multiplying. So x times x plus 2 equals 4x plus 3. x squared plus 2x equals 4x plus 3. I need to subtract the 4x and subtract the 3 because this is a quadratic, so I'm going to get it equal to 0. And now this is something I could use any of the ways I know how to solve quadratics. I would probably factor this because I can see it pretty easy, x minus 3, x plus 1. So x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. Now I want to check them, right? Always check them. 3, I don't want to try this do this in my head either because I can't do logarithms in my head, most of them, okay? So I want to say natural log of 3 plus 2 minus the natural log of 4 times 3 plus 3, and I get that number, and then natural, oh, natural log of 1 over 3. Yes. Okay, so 3 works. 3 is the solution. Okay, so I need to check negative 1 also. Natural log of <clears throat> Can I just put in 1? Are you okay with that? Minus natural log of negative 1. Because I can do some of that in my head, right? Can't do all of it, but some of it I can. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Did I mess up? No. I didn't mess up. I put in a negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. I got that okay. Oh, go away. I don't want, I don't know, go, go. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So that's what I put in. So there's a non-real calculation. You get imaginary numbers there. We don't want to mess with that. That is not a solution. That's why it's important that we check because not everything works. Okay? Sometimes you get two solutions and they both work. Sometimes you get two solutions and one of them works. Sometimes you get two solutions and neither one of them work. Okay, how do you feel about this? Confident? Okay, um, the last thing, the last one, uh, objective that we have, we solve applied problems using exponential and logarithmic equations. You know and I know that that means word problems. Okay, especially in sections like this, a lot of the word problems have to do with interest formulas, the compound interest formulas that we talked about a couple days ago. Okay, um, either they'll give you those formulas or I'll give you those formulas. You have them in your notes. Um, just for your homework, um, just to make sure that you got it okay. Otherwise, they typically give you some sort of equation to use, and you're going to end up solving that equation. Okay? Any questions? Ask me if you have any.